Hi guys, Stay Johnny here, welcome back to Area 31, the charity server. I just want to start this video by saying a massive thank you to everybody that has uh, taken the time and spent their money to donate to the cancer research charity that we've set up for this uh, this series. Um, I've been blown away really by the support I've had, it's been remarkable really, I think we've had over $130 worth of donations just to me alone, which is, which is amazing, I know the other guys have all had the same kind of... Uh, sort of uh, happiness when people have donated for them so yeah it's been been absolutely brilliant um, and I've had a couple more which is which has given me a bit of a quandary because uh, I managed to at the end of the last episode in between episodes I built a couple of extra a um, couple of ME drives now um, I've got four now I've got a couple of 16k ones a 1k and a 4k um, but they're all full up they're totally totally full 63 items in each one totally full I'd had it all packed away I was ready to fly off I cleared the base the place out here and um, yeah, and I've had some more donations, which is which is amazing. And I'm not going to knock it because it's brilliant, but it's given me a bit of a quandary. I'm going to have to sort it out now before this next episode starts. So let's go through these quickly. We had some anonymous donations here with some wool, some leather, some iron ore, some redstone, some gold, and some beef. Um, there's been a donation by a guy called Harry Leng uh, Lenth Lenthorn. Um, some some different ores, and also a donation by Sarah and Jamie. Some leather, some wool, some raw beef, a broken stone axe, which is just a normal axe. Um, and a stone sword um, and the story with this one is that uh, Jamie he's only four years old and he wanted to donate his uh, his pocket money to me his two pounds pocket money and he did that and that's what I've got for it so thank you very much to Jamie um, brilliant really really appreciate that but now I'm gonna have to find a way of putting these away because I can't fit all of this into my inventory and take it with me so I'm thinking I might try and make a miners backpack I need a couple of bits of wool some string and some iron which is why I've plugged plugged my uh, my my gear back in again because I need to try and find some stuff there because I've got some string uh, one two three four I need some uh, some iron oops need some iron let's get some iron out some smelted iron must have some smelted iron there we go don't know how much iron I need I think it was four wasn't it um, and what else do we need some wool how much wool have we got I don't know how much wool I've actually got I've got quite a bit of wool there we go so we'll I've probably got actually wool in my current inventory. I could have used that, but that's fine. Um, what else do I need? A chest I've definitely got. So let's... Oh, yeah, I think that's all, isn't it? So we need the miner's backpack. Because these backpacks are different to the other ones we've had on other series. We are, they have specific tasks. You can't just make a backpack and fling everything in it. So this miner's back will hopefully will take ores and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's what... Oh, I need the, the crafting table as well, don't I? Need to grab a crafting table. So let's just grab one of them out of there. There we go. Let's plonk that down. Pull that down there, and right. So we need to put one, two. We need to put uh, one, two, three, four there. We need to put the two bits of wall there. I had uh, plenty of wall in my inventory. I could have used that. Um, what else was it? A chest, I think. And there we go. There's the miner's backpack. Now I'm hoping this miner's backpack will let me. Uh, let me just quickly grab as much as I can get in my inventory. Uh, let me just put. Let's see if we can put this in here. We can. That's good. Right gold so hopefully I've got enough to take all of the uh, all of the items all of the items I've got into this this one backpack which then hopefully lets me stick a bit of it back into um, back into the the ME system then so let's just see what I can let's see what I can sling back in the ME system uh, nothing else okay I don't want to put too much in but what I don't want to be putting in is uh, things like um, my power system. I don't. Take, I've got to keep the power system and all that on me. So what have I got on me now? I think I've probably got enough to. Um, I thought we could take out. Actually, we could take out some iron and stuff from here, couldn't we? Let's take out our iron. Let's take out all the ores, shall we? Because if we take out uh, iron, uh, copper, let's just take those out for now. See if we can. See if we can put those into our into our backpack. No, they're full now. All right. Well, that's. Irons anonymous. Yeah, we can't do much about it. Unfortunately, the anonymous donations mean you, you can't actually take the, the stuff off. That's that's okay. Let's sling them back into the into the ME system. Oh, we've got a bit of room now to put some more stuff in, so that's good. Okay, right. Well, we've got enough to now hopefully take everything that we want away with us. So I won't take the bed in case I die because I don't want to. There's nothing left in that chest, is there? So let me take those two chests. I'm hoping I can get them into the uh, into the ME system. The chests. They can go. That's good, right? So, let's take out the the four drives. Let's take out. Let's pick up the uh, system here. So as long as you've got these items with you, I'm use the wrench. Actually, the wrench is quicker at breaking these things. So let's quickly 
wrench, come on. Best be quicker at taking them. But it's not, it hasn't done it. Wrench, wrench, come on. No, nope, doesn't want to do it. I'll just use a pickaxe. Right, there we go. So we've now got everything. So hopefully we, everything's fitted in. So as long as you've got your power system, your cop, your power cables, and your ME drives, you're you're basically good to go. Um, so I'll leave the bed there. I will make another bed when I get to the other end, wherever I decide to go. I've got a pretty much a tank full of hydrogen. So everything I've got is is ready. So I think we should uh, I think we should we should fly off out and um, and find somewhere new. So let's go let's go north, shall we? Let's head. Let's head north. Let's put my let's put my hang glider on, and let's sprint away north. And let's see what we can find. Or should we? No, let's tell you what. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go south. Because I th I think I have a feeling that some of the other guys are going to be further uh, in this direction. I've had a little birdie tell me that um, some of the guys are further away. Let's have a bit of a quick fly and see what we can. All oh, the the chunks aren't loading very quickly, are they? Let's quickly. Uh, Let's quickly head on over this way. Let's go across this sea. So what I'd like to find, I think I might have said this in previous episodes, is like um they're like graveyards on here, and they under these graveyards there's big dungeons, which will mean I'm gonna get less um oh there's a battle tower thing there. What's uh let's have a quick look up here. Uh, let's have a quick hover and land on top of here. Because you can uh if we break into here there might be some might be some goodies in here. See, there are some, there's some obsidian and stuff in here, and if we go in and break this spawner quickly, there might be some decent stuff in this chest, so let's quickly kill these spiders. There we go, and then let's, uh, there we go, right, spider guy, spider spawner gone, what's in here? Uh, iron horse armour, a steel sword, I'll take that steel sword. Uh, I don't know what half these things, I don't really want the men, I don't want that really, I won't take the most mystery potions. Um, I'll take the steel helmet, I suppose. Other than that, I don't really want. I could go down into other levels, I suppose, and see what's what's down these other levels. Let's have a look. Hello. Ooh, hello there. Hello there. Let's kill you. Let's quickly kill you guys quickly, just so we can get rid of them, and then we'll then we'll see what's in the spawner. Let's get rid of the spawner. Is there a chest? There's actually no chest here, is there? Look. There's no chest here. Let's just get out of here. Let's not waste our time. Let's fly up. And let's carry on flying south. There's another. Oh, there's a village here. Let's have a. Is there a blacksmith in this village? Uh, can't see one. Or is that the blacksmith here? Let's have a look. I don't think that is the blacksmith, is it? Let's just have a quick. Oh, dee dee. I love the, the noises the villagers. Oh, there is a blacksmith. Excellent. Okay, let me just quickly have a look in here. See what you've got. Research notes. Hmm. I'll take the steel chest plate and I will take the bread because the food's useful to have. We've got some more um, thorns. Don't worry about that. Another steel helmet. Won't worry about. What's this? What's this research note? Let's have a look. What that sort of says then. Oh, we heard. Oh, I won't read all of this, but day one, we heard a rumor on the marketplace that there is a hidden altar which, if anyone unravels its secret, they will gain tremendous power. So we've packed up everything to find this altar. Day 26. At this time, we've been travelling across oceans through deserts and into deep jungles, thinking we would find this elusive altar and unlock its power. But we are exhausted, and our crew is dehydrated by heat. Will we ever find it? I'll read this last day, then we'll read some more later. I'm not wanting to be excited, but we finally found it. It's the hidden altar. It's just as the rumour described it. But it's not just one altar here. This underground city holds hundreds, ranging from one to four steps high, with strange obelisk-like structures in the corner. Oh, on the altar we found skulls and heads. Okay, right, we need to we need to look at this. Trouble is now, I've now pretty much filled up my inventory. I'll get rid of the uh, the zombie brains. We don't need them. Um, what else are we not rid of? We'll get rid of that string. Um, and the zombie head we don't need. Okay, well I think we've got everything we uh, we we we've, we don't need much more. So let's let's head on out. Let's let's keep going uh, west south. Let's keep going south. Oh, nearly crashed into the ground, lost all my stuff. Let's head on out, let's go. Oh, there's a slime island up there. I'm not too worried about that. We'll keep pushing on. We'll keep pushing on. Looks like some kind of big underground... Oh, what is... Is that, is that a... You shouldn't really be looking at those. Oh, that's just a ravine, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a ravine. Shouldn't be using the, 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 the terrain generating at my benefit, really, should I? But let's see if we can hopefully. I don't know where I don't know where Titus is. Someone told me that Titus has got a castle. He's found a castle and he's he's living in that castle. So it'd be quite cool to maybe st stumble across his stuff, wouldn't it? Maybe we could make an alliance with him or we could just steal his stuff. I don't know. 
We'll fly on for another few minutes and we'll see what we can find. And then hopefully we might find so let's just go across. It's, it's now getting night time. Haven't got a bed with me, so I can't sleep the night off. Although I could I could plonk down my power and uh my system and just maybe make a bed quickly. I should have probably brought one with me. I just didn't want to die and then end up back at spawn because that would have been that would have been dreadful. That is a long way away the spawn. Um, and I really didn't want to have that. Look at this weird little dirty river thing coming down the middle of the down the middle of the, the uh, this swampy land. Very strange. Right, let's uh, let's get a sprint on. Let's put let's hold down shift and uh, fly a bit quicker with the uh, with the hang glider. We'll find somewhere new to uh, to take us. As I could plonk it here. I shouldn't get anything anything landing here, should I? But no, let's not. Let's be brave. Come on, let's be brave and try and find some new stuff. I need to get some more ores. I need to get the quarry working again, so I can uh, I can get some more ores, get some more um, stuff to make a few more um, drives. I need some more 16k drives, or even a 64 or 32k drive, because without that, we really are going to run out of uh, out of storage space pretty quickly. If we can fill up with 64k's, which is a long process, but if we can fill up with them, we're going to have all the storage we ever need. I think I think it will it will do us it will do us quite well. So I'm hoping that's what we can do. I'm not sure if we can link up more ME systems, but that would be nice as well. If you could plug in like two next to each other, that would be really handy. Then maybe we could have we could have totally unlimited. So we're going to get across here. We're going to get across this 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 this, uh, this ocean, and maybe then we can uh, we can take we can take a new base, start somewhere new, find a, a kind of crypty place to start to to put our quarry over. Maybe make landmarks to make it a bit larger because then we can get more stuff, can't we? That would be good. Any ideas you guys have got that we can do, or any any clues on locations of other people's bases? Feel free to leave them in the comments. I will be very grateful. Oh, there's a supercharged creeper over there. I want to stay away from them. I killed one of those. I've got that that statue that we saw in the live stream. But when I broke it to move, um, it doesn't give it back to me. So unfortunately, I've lost that that statue, which is a bit of a shame. It would have been nice to have kept that. Come on, I've still got loads of hydrogen left in my jetpack, so that's cool. Need to find somewhere, somewhere good that we can, we can, we can go that will be, that will be well hidden, and safe from other people. So probably an underground base would be good, which will make, um, which will make, it, make it quite hard to, uh, to power. We need to make sure the windmills are high up. That's the problem. So we maybe need to find some alternative source of, uh, is this taint. Is this not taint? Is it? We don't want. I'm not sure if that is taint or not. There's another one of these towers here. Let's have a quick, let's have a quick land on top of here. See if there's anything good. Well, no, I don't want to die here, so I have to be very careful. There we go. Right. Let's go inside here and have a look at you. Hello, spiders. Any two of you there? What I'll probably do then is uh, is end this episode. I would think once these guys are dead and we've killed the spawner and we can still die. There we go. Break the spawner. Before anyone else comes along. Excellent. There we go. We've got a name tag. I'll take that. A thormium hoe. Now we probably could take that. Vintage Jazz. I have no idea what that does, and to be honest with you, I don't really want it. What's down? Oh, I don't want the uh, spider eye either, because we're now totally full up if we do that. Don't want the string or the spider eye. Let's just break the corner here and see what's what's down here. Anything more? Is there any other chest in this section? I don't want to miss out on anything. I'm not sure if there is a chest in this one. Don't think there is. I think each alternate levels now. It doesn't look like there is. Right, let's just get out of here then. Um, and I think we need to find we need to find another place. Let's just quickly fly. Oh, there's lots of these towers around here, isn't there? Blimey. Okay, let's just quickly uh, shoot over here. And put me my hand glider on. It's nice and peaceful when you're flying around. I think what I'll do, I will probably end this episode here with me flying off into the distance. Whee! Super Snake. I'll fly off, find somewhere new, and hopefully in the next episode I'll be back for some with a with a base area and somewhere cool we can uh, we can go. But for now, guys, I'm Insect Doctor. Thank you very much for all your donations. Keep them coming in. It's a great charity to support. Um, and I'll be uh, back soon for another episode of Area 31. Thank you for watching. Bye.